Welcome back. This is part two of installing a standalone version of SQL Server 2012 in Windows Server 2012 in a VMware machine. So now we will go ahead and click to next. And here you have your instant ID. By default, its name is as MS SQL Server. So we will leave it as is and click to next. Now click to next. Now here we we will do a few tweaking. So basically all we really care about the database engine. So we'll leave it as automatic. And for the server analysis service, we will change it to manual. So that way every time we will start the server, it won't automatically start up the engine. Rather, we'll leave it to manual so we will we can restart it. So now the reporting service, we'll do the same. Now let's change it to manual and also change it to manual. So now we will go to next. Now here it's asking for the user who would be the authenticated service ID holder. So in our case, we will say add the current user because we are installing the server under administrative user ID. So for our case, the win, this user ID is the one that will be the one to owning this whole SQL Server installation and the server case. Go to the next. And here the same thing. We will get the current user and click to next install and configure reporting service native it's fine we will leave the controller name in that case it will just assume a default name so which is okay for our case because we are not really doing a lot of work in the controller side so click to next now click to next and as you can see we pass in every single component check-in so we are good to go now go to click to next and here is a summary that is going to provide you like what are the things that has been installing if you have time go ahead and read it it's not bad kind of like you will have an idea what kind of component of sql server that you will be installing and go ahead and click to install now the installation portion started at this point, it will take a little while to go through all the component and install one after another. So at this point, I will pause it for a moment and I will get back when it's almost done. As you can see, it will take a little while. So if you see that your file kind of like it's not moving, stuck a little bit for a while, nothing to be alert of. So just Keep watching and wait for a while and you will see eventually it will finish it up. So it actually depends on your server speed and power. So I will pause it again at this point and come back when it's at the end. As you can see, it's almost all over. So now we did, it's done. So most of them are, if you can, if you like, you can scroll down and all the component was successfully installed. As you can see, succeed, succeed, succeed. Now let's close it. So now we successfully installed SQL Server 2012 edition. So now a couple things that needs to be done. You go to click and here this down new apps install window uh, arrow, you just Click to that one and you will see all the software that's been installed in your server. Here, as you can see, SQL Server Management Studio. I like you to right mouse click and pin to start. So as a result, every time you will come to your SQL Server machine and you will see that Management Studio is right there. So you just double click it and you will see your server is been starting for the very first time. Now use the Windows authentication connected. Now your servers already started. 
So as you can see, uh, once you are here, there are four database that by default SQL Server create. One is your master database, model database, MSDB, ThemeDB. Master database will keep all your master data information, which I already explained in class one. And then you have a model database, say if you have some sort of like common table that every time you create a new database that should be part of those part of those database say a good example is like your sets of audit tables so instead of creating in each database every time that you will be creating a new database rather you can create them under model database so whenever you create a new database it will get those table and then create them in the uh, new database automatically and then you have msdb is more like for scheduling purposes all this information that it keep here and then you have your temp db like whatever your database needs some extra resources and some calculations some query result to keep it it uses this temp db to store those information there so now those tables been uh, sorry now that the database been there one last things that we'll do we will from the backup we'll install that microsoft have give us a demo database which is known as an adventure works so to install the adventure works database we'll go to database and we'll go to restore database and now we will try to find out where is that backup of that database so click to add and if I'm not mistaken, I believe I put it in SQL DB. No, it's not here. Let's see, I thought I did, but looks like I did not. So in that case, I'll pause it here and I will try to locate it and then come back. Okay, I'm back. So what happened, like I was looking for adventureworks.bak, which is a backup plot. I couldn't find it. So what I did, I went to my host machine and went to internet and download. So, and finding that backup file is very easy. You just type adventureworks2012.bak and download in Google and you will find uh, some link and you can download it. So once you download that one, it will show up in our case go to vmware station the network folder and there is the backup file so copy this one and bring it to our local machine in the sql dba folder and let's paste it so now that we have our backup file now again going back go to database and say restore database and then go to device then go to add and here we will go to our sql dba folder and we found our backup file click ok and then click ok and now it's ready to bring it in so now successfully been stored so as you can see now if you will refresh it and you will should see okay database adventure works over here so now that we have adventure works being installed now we can go ahead and play around with this one this is your demo database and i will strongly recommend each of you should install that one because we will be running lots of query based on this one because as a DBA, you need to be aware of how to select a table, how to join multiple tables, what are the type of joins, all those nine years. And this database will really help you. Just to make sure that our database is working correctly, I'll just quickly query one table. So any of the table you select and make a right mouse click and put select top 1000 rows and it should show up. Okay, there you go. So everything is working correctly so having said that as we can see we successfully installed sql server and then also we did 
create a actually restored database, which is known as Adventure Works from a backup file. So see you on next class. Thanks for watching. Bye.